Everywhere you look, here in Kunar, on Afghanistan's eastern border, the choices aren't good. Outpost Pertle King is caught between hills full of Taliban. If the Americans leave, militants from Pakistan will flow through the valley. And if they stay, then every few days, this happens. A mortars hit the base. The last attack was long enough ago. There's panic. They're worried the Taliban have been preparing a big one. After days of nothing, the insurgents have finally amassed around the compound and beginning an attack from all sides. Come on, hustle up, grab it and get ready. They use mortars first, aiming for Taliban dug into the hills, but the incoming fire is very accurate here. Go, 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 go! They arrange cover from heavy machine guns. Grab the round, as soon as they go cyclic, drop them! But the bullets are too close. Never mind. Locals scatter just before huge American firepower has the last word. Oh! oh shit. Four massive airstrikes across the hills, and then the Taliban falls silent. America knew why it came here, but isn't sure why it's staying. Can we get like a police call for like brass and cigarette butts when you? No? <laughs> Ten minutes later, jets swoop in to strafe the hills. A show of force, but the Taliban are now either gone or dead. At least five killed by the soldiers' count. The next morning, it starts again. Mortars and rocket-propelled grenades pound the base. For the second time in just 50 now, the base is under attack, much heavier this time, and it appears they've taken casualties. More airstrikes. This valley is vital strategically, but doesn't want to be conquered. The medics fly in to collect one soldier. His injuries are not life-threatening. There's no real victory to be had here, though. Just the question of how long they will stay growing louder. Nick Peyton Walsh, CNN, Kunar, Afghanistan.